Good evening, Bios Baptist Church, pre-youth department. And welcome back to another lesson about, what does it say here? Something from the Lord regarding the Ten Commandments. No, not the Ten Commandments, the, the Apostles' Creed. So, it's right here on our wall. I'm going to step out of range of the camera just so that you can see. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, His Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. We believe in one God. Now, this is a Nancy Creed. We believe in one God, the Father our almighty maker of heaven, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. In the name of Jesus, Amen. It's a beautiful day outside today. Why don't we just open up the screen as wide as it gets. So outside you got the sun and the lone tree, but then you got the house. So let's see what's going on in the house of God today. So we've been teaching with the adults a lesson in your tithing. So do any of you know what it means to give tithe? When you tithe, you pay money. Money is a tool that is used to ex that you exchange to get what you want. This can also be used in church. This is something that you give in church willingly to get services from the church. Now, when you don't give it, you get services from the church anyway. But when too many people don't give tithe, this happens. Sometimes the church cannot pay. These things called bills, meaning the light, the light bill, or for anything that the church needs to operate. So, if the church needs services, the church itself needs to get service to give service. Just like how when your mom goes to the grocery store to buy the grocery to give it to, to make it to feed you, the church needs to get stuff to prepare it to give to you. But if you do not donate enough money to the church, then the church doesn't have enough money to get acquire to get the resources to give to you. And then this happens. If we cannot see, then work cannot get done, and the church just shuts down. And we all do not want that to happen now, do we? So that is why we come up with this thing called tithe and offering. 
which is a way to get money from our congregation without asking, without taking it from them in a way that seems too harsh or too worldly, like outside of church does it, like it is done outside of the church. So if you can, write down these scriptures. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites. For ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted wader, which is matters, of the law, judgment, and mercy. For ye ought to have done, and not to leave the other undone. Matthew twenty-three twenty-three. Hmm? Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and run it over, shall men give it to your bosom. For I shall with the same measure that ye may withal, with it shall be measured to you again. Luke 6. 38. So, disregard that first scripture, because this might be too confusing. But I want you to hold the second scripture. Give, and it shall be given to you. When you give your tithe and offering to your church, you get it back. In the form of services, kindness, love. Not that if you don't give, you're not going to get it anyway. But it makes it easier to give. That is all. There are many ways you could give tithe and offering. You could give it through the, our church's website. You could give it through our envelopes. When you do attend service in person, you could just put it down on the pastor's desk. Or during tutoring services, if you never know, there's a way. But I'm asking you to tell your parents to give you your allowance so that you can do it, because I'm not expecting you to have money of your own between the ages of 0 and 12. <laughs> yeah, I'm not expecting that at all. But if you do, you do know that God blesses people who donate off their heart. But you're not expected to. You know why? Because it's completely voluntary. When something is voluntary, it means you don't have to. You do it because you want to. So think about it. It's a beautiful day out here. God did all of this. And now we're just going to close the screen now so that we can focus on prayer because it's nighttime. And when we're happy when it's nighttime, they pray. What do we do every night? We pray before we leave, right? Ooh, that happens every time you try to close the curtains, eh? Okay. Father, in the name of Jesus, thank you for what you have put on the table in this holy word, and thank you for our audience today. Bless every one of them, everywhere they go, Bless them in school and at home. Bless their parents and bless everything, Lord, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, thank you for this day today in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen.